My name is uh, Dr. Ian Kerr, and I'm the CEO of Ocean Alliance. Our website is whale.org, and we were founded in 1971 by Dr. Roger Payne. So we're doing two things here. One is we're developing a new tool we affectionately call Snotbot. And what Snotbot does, the drone flies into the exhalation of a whale and it collects all this priceless biological matter on petri dishes. And then we take these petri dishes home and we look at them and we find DNA. Is this Ian? Is this Marvin? Am I male? Am I female? Um, and then we look at hormones. Is the animal pregnant? Is the animal lact lactating? Is it fertile? Is this a robust population of whales? And then we even look at microbiomes, the microbiomes that make your, your digestive tract or your lungs tick. So it's amazing all this sort of data we're getting from the exhalation of a whale. So we're developing the tools, should we fly higher, should we fly lower? But at the same time, we're taking that biological data back to our scientific partners who are analyzing that data for us and basically saying, is this a healthy population or not? And the very cool thing about it is we're really doing a biological assay or a biological test without the animal knowing. We're not sticking a dart in it. We're not chasing it around, you know what I mean? We just fly the drone over, collect the exhalation or snot, and then study that. Yeah, I really think uh, that using drones, for me at least, is like, I can't imagine being a biologist who looked down a microscope for the first time. Like, oh my God, look at all these things I've never seen before. I think it's the same with drones. Drones get up in the air, let us see how the animals are behaving. I mean, the, the footage is just incredible. And then the drones are collecting data, biological data, in a non-invasive manner. And the drones are very cheap. Drones are cheap, so if you lose a drone, they're $2,000, but it doesn't mean your expedition is over, you know? So I think drones are even democratizing science because they're affordable, they're easy to use, they're scalable, they're replicable. So I think the future of whale research includes drones in many different forms and designs. And the drones are quite ee. We, You and I might find it quite irritating, but the reality is those high frequency sounds aren't getting through the water. And I think whales are very used to seagulls and they're very used to wind across their back. So I think when the whales see the drones and feel the wind, I think it's a, a, a normal thing for them. So I think drones to us might be a little irritating, but I think there's a lot of evidence to suggest now the whales have no idea. I mean, in our day to day, we probably did 20 flights and we did not see one single reaction to the presence of the drone above the whale. So that's so exciting to have a non-invasive tool that collects half a dozen different data sets. Wow, that's exciting. 